my name is Lajca Janković and uh, I'm professor on health study in Vukovar. I'm from Croatia. Uh, this is a small uh, research about osteoporosis and uh, exercise. Uh, osteoporosis is been with us as long as we can remember and often is thought of as a condition linked to age, gender, lifestyles and food habits. A lot has been done on researching it, but despite all the advisement, it's still with us. Osteoporosis is today medical, social and uh, economical problems. One has to ask if, if so much effort has been put into figuring out the disease, why are we still seeing uh, the numbers going up? Sure, medical treatments in general cost more and also population is aging. But one issue is that uh, most treatment program, as far as we see it, fail to achieve prolonged participation by lifestyle often blamed for that. We think that the lack of long-term commitment can be changed. And the trick is to make uh, the programs more fun. Uh, we we've, uh, tried was a modified Taibo exercise. There were this game for people with osteoporosis. We then collect data to see if uh, that specific this game can generate long term commitment while we still managing to strengthen musculoskeletal composition and improve our quality of life. Uh, we do think uh, the conclusion are more general and would be applicable to other similar. Uh, programs. Before we get to details, first to remind uh, what we are dealing with, osteoporosis causes quite a significant dent in the quality of life. Patients usually suffer from uh, numbers and chronic, much, um, uh, chronic problems such as postural changes, reduced lung capacity, back pain, issue with balance, which only makes felt and fractures more linkly and not surprising uh, considering all the mentioned issue, mood swing and depression. Considering choose factors when planning a program is a must or program is doomed uh, from the beginning. And what are uh, is what are Taibo exercise? Taibo exercise is this gun for uh, is combination of aerobic, martial art, and cardio exercise. They are together aiming to strengthen the muscle, improve heart function, and act positive, positivity of mental function, and are also supported to have a positive influence on blood pressure and heart rate, and should help with bone mass increase. All of that is aiming to directly or indirectly help with preventing progression of osteoporosis, but an important positive side of this type of exercise program is that the program is highly adaptable with respect to the pace and the difficulty level and can be done in group sitting. So while it's quite interest program, it's also much easier for the individuals to do and commit to it. We aim to determine effects of using Taibo exercise in preventing or stopping progression of osteoporosis. In order to that, we were tracking bone mass change, frac score change, and quality of life change. Uh, research the methodology, methodology. We recruited 92 subjects and divide them into the test group, which we call group A with 46 subjects and the control group we call group B with also 46 sub subjects. The test group, group A, subjects followed to standard of care therapy and were taking uh, vitamin D capsules for the last a year as part of their osteoporosis treatment. But they were also performing Taibo exercise three times a week for 45 minutes and under supervision of medical professional. The control group, group B, had the same, same standard of care, but they didn't walk lasting 45 minutes instead of Taibo. The aim for them uh, was to walk for about 2.5 kilometers of flat ground. Uh, again, the subjects did that three times a week for six months. 
Uh, that was our benchmark, quite equivalent to what the standard of care would be. We did DEXA, laboratory calcium, blood and urine lab test, phosphor, uh, vitamin D, and also BMP, LMP, and bone extraction markers, measurement. Based on the results of desintometry, it's uh, at the beginning, at the end of the study, a 10-year risk of fractures with the FRAX questionnaire was performed along with the quality questionnaire of the Euro European Foundation of Osteoporosis 31. Results, a uh, few results from the study. Here is a chart uh, that look into the hip T score at the beginning and the end of the group A, same, same is down also for group B, Intel scores ranged from minus 4.2 to minus 2.5, with a mean of uh, minus 2.9. We observed some shift in the mean, but in general start and uh, the end remained highly correlated. Results from group B. Uh, for group B, the range was similar, slightly low median correlation of start and the end date remained high, uh, high, but also there was very little move in the date. The mean remained almost unchanged. So here uh, we already uh, are seeing a bit better progress in the test group, uh, the benchmark group, to keep uh, in mind that the study was conducted over a limit of a time a horizon of six months. Another thing we look, uh, looked at was the hip T score change. For comparison, here we looked at how big improvement was observed during the course of the study. Recall group uh, B is uh, the benchmark. This is results for a FRAX uh, uh, questionnaire for group A and for group B. Uh, out of the total numbers of subjects in group A, 19 are smokers. At the beginning of the study, the minimum FRAX score for group A subjects ranged from 0 0.6 to a maximum of 6.9, while the mean FRAX score of group A was 2.8 with a standard deviation of 1.39. At the end of the research, the FRAX score value of characters were as follows. Uh, the minimum value was 0 0.4 and the maximum of 5.1, with minimum value of group A of 2.4 and standard deviation of 1.18. Uh, the following is the summary of group B date uh, set and the analysis of the calculate FRAX score. Uh, the group B consists of 11 smokers. At the start of the study, the FRAX figures reads as at the list. The minimum FRAX value for group B was 0 0.7, the maximum of 5.2, with a mean value of 2.8 and standard deviation of 1.32. At the end of the research study, the minimum FRAX, FRAX value from group B was 0 0.5, the maximum was 5.0, while the mean value came at 2.8, uh, 2.6, with a standard deviation of 1.24. We noted the changes in the minimum, maximum, and the mean value, as well as in the standard deviation. However, the p-value of the change don't show uh, any statistical signification. Uh, comparing the results uh, of group fra uh, for FRAX uh, of group A and the group B, strictly speaking, both group X habit a suboptimal level on statistical signification. Never tells as analyzed earlier group A results are statistical much stronger, coming only a tad below the significant uh, threshold. In addition, we visually comparing the results, in, it can be seen that in group A, there is definitely a pro positive progress, a much harder claim to make for group B.
This is the results for uh, group A and next slide for group B for vitamin D. Vitamin D has an important role in calcium resorp resorption from food and its storage in, is an important indicator of the possibility of osteoporosis. Analysis of its value comes from serum and their normal range limits range from 15 to uh, 200 uh, nanomole. Intel value of vitamin D in group A response range from a minimum of 32 nan nanomole to a maximum of 64 nanomole, vitamin value of 44 nanomole and the standard deviation of 8.40. At the end of the study, minimum value of A group of 33 nanomole to maximum of 79 nanomole with a mean value of 53 nanomole with a determinate with a standard deviation of 9.67. The calculate P value of 0.061 and similar represents a statistical significant difference within group A. While the lower limit minimum remained virtually unchanged, it's important to notice that the upper max and the mean value were visibly increased. Max value jumped from 62 to 79. Results from uh, vitamin D uh, group B. Among the group B response in Intel vitamin D analysis, the value uh, range from a minimum of 30 nanomole, a maximum of 68 nanomole, with a mean of 45 nanomole, and the standard deviation of one of 9.40. By comparing these results with the results of group A, it can be observed that the minimum intel value of group A were higher at the beginning of the mensumen, while the maximum intel value are higher in the group B. At the end of the study, the minimum value uh, vitamin D value of 33 nanomole for group B is higher than the minimum uh, vitamin D value for group A, whereas the maximum value of difference in the lower mean of the group 51 nanomole. Looking at the change in the P value of group B response, it's definitely mensument. Um, 0 0.026 uh, and uh, as such represents a, a statistical significant difference between intel and final mensument. Uh, here is a look at comparison of questionnaire uh, 31 for two uh, for the two groups the questionnaire related to pain uh, specifically just to give you an idea of some of the more the interesting question, for example, carried the subjects that fail us how frequently they felt pain and been at uh, the response as not at all. The answer are, uh, was not at all. Uh, one day or less per week, two or three days per week, uh, all the time. A complementary question asks how long the pain persists, and again the subjects answer with no pain, last one or two hours, and so uh, on to uh, the whole day. One more question to mention was the one that asked about how frequently pain impacted subject sleeping. Bottom line is we find for the subjects from the group A statistically more significant, significant improvement, for example, one frequency uh, of pain that occurrence of um, pain decreased from the beginning of the study. Uh, to what subjects characters is only occasional pain and uh, at the end of the study. In subjects of group B, pain occurrence decreased as well, but the pain reduction uh, was Gertner in group A. And uh, something for, um, for the end, uh, group A, response indicated their, that their medical exercise performed during the rehabilitation procedure appeared to be insufficiently effective regarding their age, especially in the 55 to 60 age, they were all working women. 
and that their exercise seemed monotonous and consequently they didn't find a motive strong enough to con uh, continue a practice in their, in their own home. Unlike medical exercise, they rate Taibo exercise as uh, the type of exercise that uh, allowed them to have a better quality of life over two months of exercise or 20, uh, 24 uh, exercise session. Group A response indicated that after several encounters, they felt more mobile and were surprised by their Gertner range of motion are some of the moments they had been unable to perform for years. At the beginning of the survey of 46 women, only five of, of them could sit down without the help of hands or uh, other moment patterns compared to the fact that the that at the end of the study, there was only one response who couldn't sit up from the lion position. Furthermore, study there was only, uh, pardon, uh, furthermore, exercising, ex uh, exercising in a group of women with similar problems showed them uh, that they were not alone and that osteoporosis as their problem throughout exercise, broad socializing, emitting uh, other people with similar problems, sharing experience, and about all brought about a life with uh, much less pain, not, not dream, not dream, not interrupted, but pain and days uh, that were not filled with fears and some uncertainly and fear and fails and fractures. And something that is but by no means negligible, this is certainly the case that is category of women, women with osteoporosis found uh, the, their place where they regular, regularly failed exercise under professional supervision. They identified their workout with healthy lifestyles, training greater than illness and medical exercise. Perhaps the best confirmation of how much better the quality of life was compared to the quality of life that response had before attending Taibo exercise is that after completing the study, they continued to exercise three times a week, the way they had done exercise conducted the, during the research. For um, uh, key findings, uh, T-score change, both group have seen a noticeable improvement. Group A change is the typical significant uh, value. The control group change not statistical significant for FRAX results, not statistical uh, difference uh, between group A and group B. But uh, FRAX um, questionnaire for group A is lower that, than for uh, the group B. Uh, quality for uh, 31 questionnaire, a significant change in quality of life for group A relative for group B. E, all response who, uh, who took part in the research prefer Taibo exercise over the medical exercise. Thank you for attention. This is group uh, Taibo women.